Hello dear students, welcome to a new algebra lesson. Today we'll be talking about the equality of ordered pairs. Equality of ordered pairs. Let's start with the main concepts. The first one, the set. As you can see here, this is the set negative 2, 3, and 5. This set contains the three numbers negative 2, 3, and 5. And for sure, the set can be represented on a number line. Here's the number line. Here we're labeling the negative 2, then the 3, then the 5. On a number line, if you want to label a number in a set, you just make a circle on this number. The second concept is the interval. So here, if the bracket is like this, this means that the negative 1 is included. We call it negative 1 closed. And here, the 3 is included, so also the 3 is closed. How to represent this on a number line? We get the number line. We make a closed circle on the negative 1. Closed circle means that the circle is shaded or colored from inside. And then we make a closed circle on the 3, a colored shaded circle on the 3, and then we connect between them. So here, this means that they're all real numbers that start from negative 1, and the negative 1 is included, don't forget that, until the 3, and also the 3 is included. Let's go to example 2. See here, the bracket is different. It's looking to the outside. This means that it's all real numbers from negative 1 until 3, but the negative 1 is not included. You can just start from the negative 1, but negative 1 is not included with you. How can we represent this on a number line? Here's the number line. The negative 1, we make an open circle. Open circle means a white circle from inside, unshaded circle. And then the 3 is included. The 3 is closed. So that's, that's why we color the circle on the 3. After that, we connect between them. So here, we mean that the ordinary numbers start from negative 1 until 3, but the negative 1 is not included, and we call it open. So here the negative 1 does not belong to this interval. The third concept which is the ordered pair. The ordered pair is a point on the Cartesian plane. Here's the Cartesian plane. The first number which is the negative 2 is representing x and the second number which is 3 is representing y. How can we label it on the Cartesian plane? x, negative 2, and then we go up until we reach the 3 on the y. If two ordered pairs are equal, then the first projection is equal to the first projection, and the second projection is equal to the second projection. Let's have this example. As you can see here, the x is the first projection. So it's equal to the first. So x equals 5. The 3 is the second, which is equal to the second. So y equals 3. If two ordered pairs are equal to each other, so the x values are equal to each other and the y values are also equal to each other. Let's now go and see another example. Here we have two ordered pairs are equal to each other. The question is asking you to find x and y. As we said, values of x are equal to each other. So, x minus 2 is equal to 5. I can easily find the value of x as x equals 7. And the values of y's are also equal because these two ordered pairs are equal to each other. So, y plus 1 is equal to 3, then 
y equals 2. Let's see another example. The question here is asking us to complete the following. The first question. These two ordered pairs are equal to each other. Then x values are equal and y values are also equal. So here, a plus 5 is equal to 8. Then if you move the 5 to the other side, then a equals 3. How to find b? The same thing. y values are the same. So 3 equals b minus 1. So b equals 4. Question 2. The same thing. Here we have two ordered pairs are equal to each other. And the question is asking us to find x and y. So x values are equal. So x to the power of 5 equals 32. How to remove the power of 5? Yes, excellent. We make a fifth root on the other side. So x equals fifth root of 32. So the answer is 2. To find y, y plus 1 equals the cubic root of 27. So y plus 1 equals 3. Then if you move the 1 to the other side, so y equals 2. Example 3. Same thing, pause the video, try to practice yourself, and then play the video again. So here, as you guys did, I'm sure that you have done it right, x minus 1 equals 8, so x equals 9. We do the y, y plus 3 equals 11, so y is equal to 8. The question here is asking us to find the square root of x plus 2y. So we replace x by 9 plus 2 times 8, which is the value of y. If we calculate this, the final result is 5. Now again, here's the evaluation part or the extra practice part. So please pause the video answer the coming four questions, and then play the video again. Let's now start together. Question A. Here in this question, it's asking us to find the values of A and B. As we said, X values are equal to each other. Y values are equal to each other when the ordered pairs are equal. So, A equals negative 5 and b is equal to 9. Question b, the two order pairs are equal to each other, then a minus 2 equal 2, then a is equal to 4, where b plus 1 is equal to negative 3, then b equals negative 4. Question C. 6 is equal to 2 minus a. If you move the 2 to this side, so it would be 4 equals negative a, then a is equal to negative 4. And to find the b, b minus 3 is equal to negative 1. So b is equal to 2. Question D. a minus 7 is equal to negative 2. Then a equals 5. And here to find the b, 26 equals b to the power of 3 minus 1. So b to the power of 3 is equal to 27. So b equals the cubic root of 27. So b is equal to 3. And now our students, we came to the end of our session today.
Thank you very much and enjoy your time. Thank <laughs> you.